we want to solve the given equations. For the first example, we have 3x equals 48. The solution is a value of x that satisfies the equation or makes the equation true. To solve the equation algebraically, we need to isolate the variable x. And since 3x means 3 times x, to undo the multiplication and solve for x, we need to divide both sides of the equation by 3. Simplifying on the left, 3 divided by 3 simplifies to 1. 1 times x is x. We have x equals, on the right, 48 divided by 3 is equal to 16. x equals 16 is the solution, which means if we substitute 16 for x back into the original equation, it will satisfy the equation or make the equation true. And let's go ahead and check this. If we substitute 16 for x, we have 3 times 16 equals 48. And 3 times 16 is 48. 48 equals 48 is true, verifying the solution is correct. Next, we have negative 4x equals 56. Since negative 4x means negative 4 times x, to isolate x and undo the multiplication, we need to divide both sides of the equation by negative 4. Simplifying, negative 4 divided by negative 4 simplifies the 1. 1 times x is x. We have x equals 56 divided by negative 4 is equal to negative 14. The solution to the equation is x equals negative 14, which means if we substitute negative 14 for x into the original equation, it will satisfy the equation or make the equation true. And again, let's go ahead and check. Substituting negative 14 for x gives us negative 4 times negative 14 equals 56. And negative 4 times negative 14 is 56. 56 equals 56 is true, verifying the solution is correct. Next equation is 2x equals negative 14. To isolate x, since 2x means 2 times x, to undo the multiplication and solve for x, we divide both sides by 2. Simplifying, 2 divided by 2 simplifies to 1. 1 times x is x. We have x equals negative 14 divided by positive 2 is negative 7. The solution is x equals negative 7. Let's go ahead and verify this. If we substitute negative 7 for x, we have 2 times negative 7 equals negative 14. 2 times negative 7 is negative 14. Negative 14 equals negative 14 is true. Our solution is correct. And for our last equation, we have negative x equals negative 18, or the opposite of x equals negative 18. To solve this equation, it can be helpful to write negative x as negative 1x. So we can write the equation as negative 1x equals negative 18. Negative 1x means negative 1 times x, and therefore to solve for x, and undo the multiplication, we divide both sides by negative 1. Simplifying, negative 1 divided by negative 1 simplifies to 1. 1 times x is x. We have x equals negative 18 divided by negative 1 is positive 18. The solution to the equation is x equals 18. Let's go ahead and check this. If we substitute 18 for x, we have negative, and then x, which is 18, equals negative 18, which is true, verifying the solution is correct. I hope you found this helpful.